Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to, I suppose, uh, walk through the process of how to take a Boolean expression and how to represent it as a logic gate. The expression, the simple expression that we're going to consider in this example here is A bar anded with B or C bar. Okay, and we're going to build a logic uh, set of logic gates to represent this, or a circuit to represent this particular Boolean expression. But first of all, let's just sh uh, let's just uh, look at the schematics uh, for each of our gates. Yeah. So first of all, an inverter, an inverter, is going to be represented by a triangle and a little circle. It takes a single input a, and what it gives us out is the inverted value of a. So if a is zero. What we'll get out is 1. If a is 1, what we'll get out is 0. So this is the logic or the schematic yeah, uh, for the inverter logic gate. Uh, let's have a look at an OR gate. Okay. An OR gate. Well, an OR gate takes two inputs, A and B. Uh, and it looks something like this. This is a curved line here. Okay. Uh, and what it does is it gives us A or B out. So depending on the inputs, we know the way a logic an OR gate works. An OR gate only ever gives us gives us zero when both of the inputs are simultaneously zero. So when A is zero, B is zero, the output of this gate here will be zero. In all other cases and permutations, the output here will be will be one. Looking at the AND gate, the AND gate will be represented by a small schematic that looks like this. Once again, it takes two inputs. A and B. We have a vertical straight line here followed by something that looks like this and what we get out is A and it would be. And the way this work is like, works is like the logic of a, an AND, uh, the, 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 the AND connective. It only ever gives us a 1 out when both the inputs are simultaneously 1. So when an A is 1, B is 1, the output will be 1. If either of them are not 1, the output will be a 0. Okay, so we need to use these gates and we need to represent this particular expression as a logic circuit. Now I have a particular way of doing this. Uh, the first thing I do is I walk through the expression, uh, identifying the unique inputs. So I have an A, a B and a C. So what I'll do is I'll define them as inputs. This is my input A, this is my input B and this is my input C. Okay. Then I'll parse from left to right. Okay. Uh, you can see that to do this AND, I need to do the left operand, then I need to evaluate the right operand. Okay, so I'll do the left operand first. The left operand is a negated A. So what we'll do is we'll take the A input and we'll pass it in through an inverter to give us the A bar output. Okay, so we've just constructed the left hand part of this AND. But before we can do the AND, we have to have an output for this whole sub expression which is a B or with a C bar. Okay. So we need to take the B and we need to pass that into an OR. But before we can pass it into the OR, we need to have calculated what a C but a C bar is. So we'll take our C and we'll pass the C into an inverter to give us our C bar out. I like to do these in order so that the first line or let's say level one is a list of gates followed by level two, another list of gates and so on and so forth to keep it as neat and tidy. So now that we have our C bar output, we can actually now pass that into an OR along with the B uh, input. So we take the B over a little bit further along with the C bar and what we're going to do is we're going to pass that into an OR and the OR gate looks like this. Okay. So what we get out here is we get the B signal or with the C bar signal to give us B or with C bar. Okay. Now that we have calculated the right operand to the AND, what we'll do is we'll carry the signal of the A bar across further, okay? and also the right hand operand, and we'll pass that in through, through an AND gate. So what we end up with is, we end up with the output is A bar, ANDed with, the bottom input is B or with C bar. Okay. So this was a pretty straightforward example uh, where we hadn't got many inputs 
and we hadn't really got many operations to perform. But this particular this particular schematic or this particular circuit is the circuit that would represent this particular Boolean expression. Okay, once again, guys, uh, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, uh, and I hope this video was somewhat uh, helpful.